My name is Saeed Balabhadra. I'm from the product marketing team at Palo Alto Networks, focused on public cloud security. As organizations look to secure their journey to the cloud, at any given time, they have one or more of these key initiatives in play. Securing the public cloud, securing access to the cloud, and securing SaaS security services. And each of these initiatives have many critical use cases under, under them. And one of the critical use cases, which is there on the public cloud, is cloud threat protection. Let's dive deeper into cloud threat protection and understand it better. Cloud threat protections is a critical use case for securing your applications and data as they reside in public cloud. Now let's take a look at some of the key considerations you need to take into account to actually secure your apps and data. So generally speaking, within the cloud, public cloud, there's a lot of disparate data sources which you actually get and that information needs to be tied together to achieve the right security posture. Let's take a look at some of these data sources and let's understand the implications of each one of them and then of course uh, identify how they can be tied together to achieve a better cloud threat protection. So the first one which we normally see is user information. Lots of users, um, end users, um, developers, uh, DevOps teams, um, IT admins, uh, cloud admins, accessing cloud infrastructure, making changes all the time. So you want to actually collect all the data associated with those interactions with cloud. Similarly, you also have network traffic. Um, generally speaking, when, it, when people talk about network traffic in cloud, we're talking about VPC flow logs. Now, VPC flow logs are, are traffic logs which you essentially have within the cloud. You also want to collect all that because you understand the network interactions between applications as they reside in cloud. And last but not least, of course, is resource configurations. Um, as I mentioned before, cloud, to a large extent, is heavily driven by configurations of every resource which is being spun up and spun down. This information is also very relevant. It's a very relevant data source. Now, these three aside, there are two other critical data sources which are very important. Uh, one of them, of course, is third-party Intel feeds. Third-party Intel is essentially, for example, vulnerability information, um, host vulnerability information. Um, it could be malware um, specific uh, CNC data, basically command and control data. Um, this kind of information also plays a significant role in deciding the security posture for your cloud. And of course, all these data sources are essentially creating lots of alerts. Um, these data sources, when they are being collected, you have enormous corpus of information, which of course needs to be analyzed and tied together. Um, you, but you can start by reducing, to some extent, some of these alerts. And that's exactly where preventative controls come into play. Preventative controls, such as security controls from your know, security groups from firewalls, essentially help you in minimizing those alerts, essentially reducing the attack surface area ahead of time. So once you have all this information tied together, what you are actually achieving out there is context. Context which is very specific to cloud. Now this context is crucial for you to define the right kind of security protections um, in place for your cloud infrastructure. Now, once you have that context, that's when you can leverage it to essentially do prevention, detection, and response. And some of the key outcomes, outcomes which you can achieve out here are, one is you can decrease alert fatigue. Two, you can actually rapidly investigate incidents. Effectively leading to faster time for detection. And of course, finally, you can trigger automated response. Now Prisma addresses these outcomes and more. For more information on other critical use cases addressed by Prisma, please go ahead and check out our website, paloalternetworks.com.